joining us. My name is Karen Conrad, and this is my wonderful husband, Dave. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And welcome to Heart to Heart with God. This is just a program that's been on our heart to do, not to like, that's kind of a pun, isn't it? It is. He's really good it's at puns. Pun. <laughs> I'm sure they'll <laughs> learn that as we go. But just, this is just something that's been on our heart because we do this. We mm -hmm. do this, uh, this process and the Lord just kind of laid out three areas. And these are our short videos where we just share some prayer thoughts with you. And we are in the portion of uh, the Heart to Heart with God program where we're going through praying our promises. Mm -hmm. So can you give them just a little bit of background on Grandma Esther just as we go into this? Sure, Grandma Esther loved to pray. She loved to be in constant communication with God, listening or talking. And one of the forms that she used to do that is a little promise box. It was a wooden box and she had promises inside of it. And she would pull a promise. She would read the promise get a thought behind the promise mm -hmm. and pray into that thought. Yes, and it had such a powerful impact on your life. Um, I know that you brought your children up with uh, the praying the pro our promises and we do it now as a couple and it is so powerful and so much fun. It really gets us kind of in sync with each other. But also I'm so amazed how many times we pull a verse out, we pray, we meditate on it, and we'll take you through the process, look at it in different versions, and then something in our day will come up that we're like, oh yeah, remember that promise. Mm -hmm. And it helps us so much. And so we're excited uh, to share a new promise with you today, and we're gonna just invite you into our process. And Dave, go ahead, let's choose our scripture. Okay, as we choose this, I, I wanna, point out as well how this promise, this and the others that we read, helps us keep the Word of God close to our heart. Yes. And part of this series, Heart to Heart Connection with God, is all about experiencing Him. Yes. Experiencing His joy, experiencing His power, and that really comes when we align our heart to His mm -hmm. Word. So in this case, we're drawing from the Word of God yes. in a promise form, little card here yeah. out of grandma's promise box. And we do it on a schedule as yeah. well. So it's just kind of in our routine and it's just been a huge blessing. Right, I think you mentioned before we do it every other day. We do. So what about the days we're not doing it? Well, we form it, we have a different form of expression, either the Bible mm -hmm. or we choose something where God yeah. is speaking to us. Devotional. And devotional, exactly. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. It has been. Okay, today is Isaiah 44. And this says that every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked places made straight and the rough places plain. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really similar to the promise that we did on the previous episode but this goes into much more detail beyond making the crooked places straight. It goes into mountains and hills and wow, this is powerful and so encouraging. So just share with everyone, like what did this speak to you, Dave? Sure, well, one of the cool parts of this verse, even as we look at the next verse after it, mm -hmm. is we see the intention for the rough places, the hills being all smoothed out and leveled. Mm -hmm. Previously, that verse we talked about was the idea that we were going to discover hidden treasures. Yes. Well, on this particular one, as we look at verse 3, it says, Then God's bright glory will shine and everyone will see it. That's Ooh. out of the message version. Ooh, that's awesome. Yes. And the Amplified says, And the glory and majesty and splendor of the Lord will be revealed and all humanity will see it. Well, one of the great things about the glory of God, in the New Testament, we get a really good idea about glory. And the word for glory in Greek is doxa, and that means the view, the opinion, and the reality of God. So what that means is that God, in our heart-to-heart -heart connection, as we experience Him, He wants us to see, understand, and experience His reality. Because that's who we have the relationship going with. So really, one of the ways we can look into this verse, even though it's Old Testament, it still counts, 
yes. is that God is wanting us to be able to see, understand, and experience His reality. So yeah. He is moving mountains, wow. and He's straightening things out for us to do that. That is so powerful, isn't it? I mean, we don't have to do all that ourselves. Right. <laughs> those He's of a you... giant Holy Ghost bulldozer. He <laughs> is, yeah. <laughs> and those of us that might be characterized as an A personality, I don't know who that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, this is like a way to live stress-free. Because, you know, we always want to fix things. And that's, that's kind of like, I want to go in there and make things happen. And I take responsibility for things. And uh, sometimes it's just like, I don't even have the ability to correct something. Mm -hmm. But I still would take on the stress of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is wonderful. I like the bulldozer thing. It's like, Lord, this is too big for me, but it's not too big for you. So we just let him have at it, right? That's right. <laughs> and you had a really good idea about this. You were thinking about the seven mountains. I was. I and was. like prayer, even though we're talking about a heart-to-heart -heart connection, mm -hmm. we're also extending that to our nation. Yes. Our nation needs a heart-to-heart -heart connection mm -hmm. with God. Our nation needs to experience God. And so we can take these prayers, and even though many times we pray them over us or our family, mm -hmm. we do expand them mm -hmm. to pray over our nation as well in other situations. We do. But... How would this impact, like from the Seven Mountains point of view? Yeah, so when when we read this, um, we share with each other what we're seeing. And so when uh, we did this promise, I was just seeing that the, um, the mountains, it talks about the mountains and the valleys, and that the mountains would come down and the valleys would rise up. And mm -hmm. so one of our best friends, they married us, Dr. Lance Welno and his beautiful wife, Annabelle, of course, he is the one that brought forth the seven mountains, and it just immediately brought me there because right now in the seven mountains of influence, and if you've not heard Lance, go to lancewellno.com. It's just, um, he's an amazing, amazing prophet and teacher. Mm -hmm. But in this, uh, with the seven mountains, I just saw right now, if you look at, uh, there's um, media mountain, there's government, there's there's seven mountains, and it appears that the enemy right now is at the top of those mountains. Mm -hmm. However, this was so encouraging because as we go through this time, I just saw that, you know what? If the enemy is influencing at the top of those mountains of culture, the Lord is telling us that he will bring those mountains down. And right now, things that are righteous or maybe we know are right in God's eyes might look like they're in the valley. Or if you watch the news, you just think like, oh my goodness, is the truth going to reign? Right. And this scripture was so encouraging because it's like, yes, we might look like we're in the valley on some of these things, but God is doing this, right? Exactly. And, and I was thinking about valley, like there's times we may feel as the body of Christ, like we're the minority. Yeah. We're in that dip valley mm -hmm. and all this stuff is happening above us. Right. When in reality, God is saying, I can take you, which you yes. seem, may, maybe see yourself. Yes. You seem like you're in a valley. I can raise you up. Well, um, just even, I'm going to read this in the Amplified. Every valley shall be raised and every mountain and hill be made low. So that's what really struck me. It's like something that seems to be exalted right now or high in the world that is going against God in his righteousness and his plan, he tells us right here, that mountain, that hill will be made low. And then he goes on to say, and let the rough ground become a plain and the rugged places a broad valley. So even, I know in our personal lives, sometimes everybody runs into this. You know, we run into struggles and uh, it just seems like we're on rugged ground. You know, it just reminds me of, I grew up uh, near a farm and we'd get on the tractor and it was always so rough going over things. And the Lord's just like, if you imagine that, he's saying, I will make it smooth. And so this is just a beautiful verse that applies to mm -hmm. us personally and definitely for our nation and the world today. Mm -hmm. And even Paul says that thoughts and ideas raise themselves up. Yes. And we need to take a hold of those mm -hmm. and bring them down. Yeah. And we have authority to do that as believers. We sure do. Amen. Yeah. Well, great. So, Dave, how about if we pray into this verse? Okay. Uh, and why don't you go ahead and start? And then if there's something that comes up, I'll, I'll join you. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Well, Father, we thank you for each person you. doing today. And we thank you that you are revealing yourself to them, your glory, 
the view, the opinion, the reality of God, that they can see you, they can understand you, they can experience who you are, because that's your heart. And I thank you that every obstacle, every rough place, every mountain that seems like it's bigger than them, it might be a mountain of debt, or it might be a mountain of emotional hurt or harm, circumstances around the world, I thank you that you can bring all those down and make them nothing. And where they may be feeling like they're low, you'll raise them up and you'll give them hope and courage and belief. Thank you for that in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, amen. Well, this was awesome. And you know, when you think about it, we wouldn't have even looked into this had it not been for pulling that scripture out of the promise box. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's the thing is when you have a schedule and you pull a scripture, it just brings a lot of discussion. It piques our curiosity every time. It's like, wow, what does this say? Let's look before and look after in all this discussion just from pulling one scripture out of the box. That's right. That awesome? And that's, that's a good nugget to share. Yeah. When you're praying the word, take a look at the whole context. Mm -hmm. Look at some of the verses before yes. and after and learn and deepen your experience. Amen. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. If you've got questions or comments, if you're watching on YouTube or on social media, just comment in the comment section. If you uh, want to give us a suggestion or just reach out to us uh, to have something answered, just email us at info at karenconrad.net. And we want to thank you so much for joining us today on Heart to Heart with God. Mm -hmm.